Hey guys, it's Truly Scrumptious here. I have a makeup tutorial for you. It's this look, this kind of teal blue, uh, intense eye makeup uh, look for you. It kind of reminds me of Roxy Andrews from RuPaul's Drag Race Season 5. Um, now, this, this look was more focused on the eye and lip makeup. I didn't really do a full coverage foundation um, to cover up like my 5 o'clock shadow or anything like that, so that was on purpose. Um, but if you do want to know how I put this look together, just keep watching and you'll see. Okay, the first thing that I do before I put on my eye makeup is I put on a primer, and I use the Urban Decay Tinted um, Primer Potion. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this um, all over the lid. I'm just going to dot it wherever there's going to be eyeshadow. And then I'm just going to use my finger. Now, I like this stuff because it helps keep my makeup from creasing. Okay, now that I've got both sides done, and go ahead and get started on the eyeshadow. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do from, for shadow is I'm going to take the CoverGirl um, creamy white um, eyeshadow, and I'm going to quickly get the brow bone. And Oh, the brush that I'm using is by Mary Kay. It's the Definition brush. Um, it's just kind of a fluffy eyeshadow brush. So, get that just under the eyebrow because that just kind of goes into the highlighting and that's going to make your eyebrows look more defined. Now the colors that I'm going to be using for my eyeshadow are all going to be from the Had Me At Hello palette from Wet n Wild, um, the blue colors. Now uh, let me show you. These are really pretty. I actually really really like these colors, um, and the, the, I actually bought it for this color right here, this like teal kind of color. I really like it. I'm going to continue with the same eyeshadow brush, and I'm going to get this, um, that color, this white, kind of pearly white color right here, and I am just going to bring that all over the lid, or actually the, just the inner corner, so. Alright, using the same brush again, I'm going to take this kind of silver color and mix it with this light blue here, and I'm just going to get the crease. Okay, now I'm going to start moving into the darker colors. Okay, I'm going to move on to the Crease Brush by Mary Kay. And I'm going to go to this teal color right here. And I'm going to get this on the outer corner, or the, out, the outer half of the eye. And then what I am going to use, this one is, oh, it doesn't say which one it is. This is also from Eco, Eco Tools. It's just a little, kind of tiny little flat brush. And I'm going to use that same teal color. I'm going to go right underneath the lower lash line. I'm going to go three quarters of the way to kind of meet with the white right there, so I'm going to go just three quarters and bring it out. Alright, so I think I'm good with that color for this eye. Um, I am going to go back over and do the other eye. Okay, so I've got the other side done. Now before I go into the darker colors, because the darker colors are harder to do, I have 
this, um, what is it, Airspun Loose Face Powder. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to do this to kind of cover the, or help with the fallout. So a little trick to this. Now I have just a little powder puff, and you just want to go right under your eye makeup. Now what this is doing, it's kind of, you don't push it in, you just kind of like, press it right onto the the eye. It's going to create a barrier of loose powder. So if the fallout falls on it, it's real easy to take your brush and just brush it right off. Okay, now I'm gonna go back to the crease brush that I was using earlier. I'm gonna do this blue color right here, just in the outer corner of the eyelid itself. So just right here. You know what, I'm actually going to mix these two blues because um, I'm gonna make it a little darker. Just gonna, there we go, to make it a little bit more intense. I'm just gonna go along the upper lash line just a little bit. I'm just gonna get it in this corner. Maybe bring it up just a little bit. I don't want to create a gradient smoky effect. And then I'm going to come back to this little flat brush I used for the teal. I'm just going to get, this time I'm just doing this blue color, this one right here under the teal. I'm going to do that just under the eye again, under the lash line right here, to kind of wrap around that blue color. And then I'm going to take this brush, the um, definition brush that I used for the lighter color, and I'm going to take a little bit of this light blue color right here, and I'm just going to blend right on the middle of the eyelid, where the dark colors meet the light colors. So I'm just going to blend it just a little bit to give it more of a gradient look. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and do the other side, and then I'll show you how to get rid of the fallout. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the trick with the powder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour a little bit of the powder into the lid. Don't really need a whole lot, um, but I'm going to go ahead and use this brush. Don't want too much on there. And then you're just going to basically do the same thing. Just brush away the fallout and it's gone okay I'm gonna do a little more on this side because oh, there wasn't as much fallout on that side so but now you just kind of use the brush to gently brush away the excess powder I'm gonna move on to my black eyeliner now um, you can use whatever your favorite black eyeliner is. I'm using this one. Um, I've had it for a while and all of the paint rubbed off, so I don't know. I think it's Revlon. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this right on the waterline, just the outer half um, of the waterline. So I just kind of gently pull down here and then just get a little bit. And then I'm also going to get the tight line. There is that. The next thing, we're going to have some fun with some liquid eyeliner. So I am using, let's see, it's Prestige Cosmetics Liquid Eyeliner. And it's just in black. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to get the entire upper lash line. It'll be a thicker wing. So you just kind of look where your crease line is and then just kind of fill up that area. All right, so now the next thing that I'm going to do from the edge of the wing, I'm going to actually bring it out just a little more and then draw an actual crease um, line part way up.
I'm gonna get under the eye just a little bit just at the lower lash line and only the outer like third okay so I'm actually gonna go back with the little flat brush that I was using earlier um, and I'm going to take this sparkly black color right here and I'm going to soften up the liner a little bit around the edges so I'm just going to ever so slightly just kind of go over the liner around off the edges to give it a softer look There we go. So I am now done, I think, with the eyeliner and the shading of the black. I'm going to take and curl my lashes ever so slightly. I'm going to use mascara. Now, the only mascara I happen to have um, available here is the Extra Super Lash by, was it, oh, Rimmel London. There we go. So I've got mascara. <laughs> okay, so the next thing I want to do are my eyebrows. I have this eyeliner. It's the same eyeliner that I use for my eyeliner, uh, from my waterline, except it is a gray khaki color. And I use this to fill in my eyebrows. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. The next thing I'm going to do is a dark brown eyeshadow from Maybelline New York. Which I'm going to use this little angled brush to fill in my eyebrows just a little bit more. Now, one other little trick that I am going to do, where I'm actually going to take my um, mascara and I'm going to get oh, the little stray hairs here. Alright, so eyebrows are done. Now, I think for this look, I'm not going to be doing blush just because it's so intense. Uh, and um, But I'm going to go ahead and move on to lips. So this one is Think Pink. Um, I don't know what brand it is. I think it's Wet n Wild. It's a pretty decent nude pinky color. A light pink. So now I've got this pink color and then I'm gonna use my favorite lip gloss this is actually by Victoria's Secret it was a holiday pear whipped cream flavor but it's my favorite lip gloss and it smells amazing so but I'm gonna go ahead and put that right over the pink so we have this I love this gloss it's so pretty and you know what I think I'm done so I'm gonna go fix my hair real quick I'll be right back all right and here's the look with a wig on. You know what? I like flowers. So I'm going to go ahead and flower in my hair. All right. Well, that is it. I hope that you liked the tutorial. And I hope that you were able to use it. Uh, if you do, make sure you take pictures and either post them on my Facebook page or go ahead and leave a link to them in the comments below. And I'd be happy to check them out. All right, well, thanks for watching, guys. See you later.